Hello, I'm Brigantia Blackbird of Blackbird's Brew. Happy Monday, and welcome to this week's video about the goddess Astara. We're going to be taking a look at her associations with light and love. Now, the goddess Astara's link with the returning strength of the light sets an example for getting out of the darkness of our heads and redirecting our energies to the world and taking action. Now, the reason why I refer to the insides of our minds being in the dark is not a statement about the goodness or the badness of someone's character. The dark is that which is internal. Shifting our focus from the internal to the external is part of the spirit of the season and part of the spirit of Astara herself. She is a bringer of life, just as the sun brings about the return of life to vegetation. And this raises the question of uh, what do we choose to shine our own figurative light on? What is it we breathe life into? What do we work to sustain? A star's discovery in her role in the grander scheme of things gave her a sense of delight. Uh, when I think of what little we know of her, I can't get it out of my head that what we do know it really sends a strong signal that she fell in love with the world the moment she realized how she could affect it. When she arrived, it was dark and cold and lifeless. And she felt the stirring within her, and that stirring burst forth, and it changed everything. And that change was beautiful, invigorating, and abundant. It's a powerful feeling to see a change for the better and to know that you had something to do with it. It's even more powerful after experiencing losses and hardship. To finally exercise your agency and accomplish something that improves your life and your circumstances, there's nothing else like it. It creates confidence. So as we move into this year's season of light, planting and growth, it's worth reflecting on uh, if we are making our plans with love and benevolence as our key motivation. A star's creative power could have done almost anything. But look at the way she chose to use it. She chose to bring the world back to life. So what do we do with our own capabilities? Are we focused on creation or destruction? Is what we seek to create good or, and is what we seek to destroy bad? Uh, for a goddess that we have uh, precious little information about, uh, what we do know about her does lead us to contemplating these deeper matters of life and spirituality, as well as taking a closer look at what does and doesn't motivate us and why. So lots to think about there. Uh, if you have your own thoughts on this subject, I hope you'll share them in the comments section below or that you'll come see us at Blackbird's Brew. There is a link to join that in the description box below. And if uh, you haven't already, please like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.